Last week, The Legend of Genji finally released. We've been waiting for years, and finally part one of episode one released, and I have to say, this outdid itself. It exceeded expectations in every way. Honestly, wasn't expecting it to be this good. This is almost as good, if not better, than some Avatar projects we've gotten in the past, and of course, it's not an official Avatar project, but it is something to enjoy while we wait, and of course, this is on par with the original two series and the comics that we already do have, so massive props to the team that made Made this they are on the quality of the original shows and the comics the art design is absolutely amazing and i just want to say keep it up i'm looking forward to more the reason i like episode one so much was because of a good two different things number one was the whole idea of a fake avatar and this works well because i've been thinking about it for a while of course it's good to have an avatar as a public figure in the world so people know not to mess around or the avatar will come and save the day and all that stuff but honestly it would just be interesting to have an avatar in secret kind of like a secret identity and i just wish Korra did this especially Especially with her being in danger and just being so open about her identity if they wanted to keep her protected they wouldn't have gone out and just been public about it so that's one thing I'm glad that Genji kind of has of course they're not trying to keep a secret but of course I just like the idea of Genji not knowing also nobody knows that he's the avatar they think someone else is and this is a similar story that was done in the Kyoshi novels you can tell this avatar story could possibly be a darker tone now of course nothing is confirmed he doesn't have a lot of money he's not in a more wealthy area and he doesn't even know he's the avatar and he's kind of bitter of the end quote fake avatar this luan avatar there's positives there's negatives it looks like he's living a luxurious life and of course there's some negatives to it with all the press and stuff but at the same time i think it's quite interesting because in Korra, she wanted to be the avatar the most but people didn't want her to be the avatar they disliked her and her decisions unfortunately season three was the biggest example of this with the vines and stuff but when it comes to this fake avatar luan everybody loves him they ask him all sorts of questions it's a completely different thing and i know it's an evolution of things in the world but still, it's just interesting to see how different things are. Most avatars had it pretty good growing up, and they weren't in a full-on negative state of mind. But Genji, as we can see here, he doesn't have the greatest mindset. This kind of reminds me of Kiyoshi, and to an extent, Kurok. I think those two avatars he kind of relates to more. And it's just, once again, nice to see a Sandbender avatar. This is the most engaging story we've gotten, as Korra didn't leave you much with to be excited about initially. Obviously, Avatar The Last Airbender took you a few episodes as well, but this episode, right off the bat, I'm already wanting to see more. And I'm not even into the entire episode because this is only part one of chapter one check this out it's on youtube you can just go to the official channel check this out as soon as possible one of the best stories that i've seen from this franchise out there and like i said it's not an official piece of media from the franchise but if the creators from avatar studios don't go through with anything after legend of korra then we can consider this canon i'm going to be making a video once the second part comes out which will be coming out on april 30th 